What's going on guys? Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Huh? What? <sighs> I'm sick and tired of my Apple Watch dying on me. I mean, I rely on my Apple Watch for so many things in my life. Heart rate, health data, notifications, fitness tracking, and of course, managing my time. But one of the most frustrating things that I have to deal with is not being able to last the entire day because sometime during my day, I'm out of the house, I'm living my life and I'm far away from the charger. I go to raise my wrist and I see this. So if you guys are sick and tired of seeing this screen, I want to be able to maximize the battery life of your Apple Watch so it lasts the entire day or multiple days even, you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, I want to show you guys my 5 biggest tips to save battery life when using Quarkology. Now massive disclaimer, these tips may limit the functionality of your Apple Watch. However, your Apple Watch should be used how you want it. And I often advise people to not be overly worried about their devices. Your Apple Watch is a consumable and will eventually get replaced. So you might as well enjoy them while they last. But through my own personal use and testing, and when I changed the settings on my watch, I found that my watch would last a few extra hours and help get me through the day. But ultimately, every single one of you guys has a different Apple Watch to me, whether it be the series one, two, three, four, five, six, or even the SE, everybody will have different results. Before we start, I've noticed a lot of you guys asking in my comments and on Clockology fans for more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Clockology. So because of that, I'll include one bonus tip that blew my mind because it was such a simple tip, but it saved me on so many occasions now. But wait till the very end for that because I guarantee to you guys, you won't want to miss out on this tip. Let's do this. Tip number one, disable any animations from your watch face. Any form of animation, whether it be a GIF or a video, will drain more battery life. This is because the screen needs to be constantly pushing its pixels by constantly updating and refreshing the animations that you guys have set. So how do you fix this? Use simple and less graphic intense watch faces. Watch faces that have less animations generally save more battery life. If you guys don't know where to find any of these simple watch faces, I have a bunch of minimalistic watch faces in my top 20 watch faces of 2020 video. Go and check it out. There are some amazing watch faces made by some amazing designers. They all include download links and they are all totally free to use as well. Tip number two, disable the replace clocks settings. One of the best features on Clockology is the ability to have multiple watch faces on your Apple Watch. But have you noticed a short delay when raising up your arm? Having multiple watch faces synced simultaneously on Clockology will consume more memory. And it just means that the app will have to work harder to try and keep things running smoothly. My advice if you want to save battery life is to disable this feature. I personally only need one custom watch face at a time. And realistically, if I want to use another watch face, I can quickly sync it through the Clockology app. This way, your watch will have plenty of memory available, resulting in longer lasting battery life. Tip number three, use an AMOLED or pure black watch face. A lot of you guys don't know this, but if you sync a watch face that uses a lot of the color black, the OLED display of your Apple Watch turns the pixels off. This not only creates deeper and richer blacks, but it also saves battery life. It's really simple. If the pixels aren't turned on, the watch is using less power. Less power means more battery life. So my tip for you guys is use more black watch faces. Tip number four. This tip is very similar to tip number three, but if you're using an Apple Watch series five or six and need the always on display, 
Turn on the pause to black setting. Pause to black is a brand new feature from Clockology where it basically shows an AMOLED or pure black display that turns off all the pixels on the screen except for the digital time. This is a great way to save battery life since it doesn't need to light up the remaining part of the screen and look like this. Just looks so bad. By enabling pause to black, you guys are still able to retain the always on display feature whilst also saving battery life. If you guys want to learn how to use pause to black, check out my video for a step by step tutorial on how to get everything set up. Tip number five, disable the health data. Have you guys ever taken off your watch and noticed that there's a green light flickering at the bottom? Ever wondered what was happening? Well, it's basically measuring your heart rate. By all means, measuring your heart rate is extremely important when trying to detect any irregular rhythms with your heart. But by enabling any health data like heart rate on Clockology, you are constantly utilizing the processor to measure your heart rate and that will consume more battery life. If you're someone who is younger, doesn't have any heart issues or doesn't care for the heart rate feature, turning it off can save you a lot of battery. By all means, I personally enable all the health features on my Apple Watch. That's because I exercise, I'm getting older, and I personally care about my health a lot. But if you guys are struggling to make it throughout the entire day with Clockology, consider disabling these features. Okay, now for the bonus tip. It might seem really simple, but it saved me a ton of times. Clockology is an app. Any app that constantly runs throughout the entire day will take up a large amount of the memory. From my experience, Clockology drains one to 3% per hour, and I personally think that's totally worth it. A small percentage of my battery is a small price to pay to have an amazing wide variety of custom watch faces for my Apple Watch. But if you're seriously running low on battery and you need your Apple Watch to last, close clockology. Your Apple Watch is ultimately a health device and features like heart rate monitoring, ECG, and fall detection have proven to save lives. If your Apple Watch dies, you won't be able to use any of these features and you put yourself at risk of danger, especially if you have a history of health issues. Basically, if you're running low on battery, just close Clockology and use your stock watch face. By all means, using custom watch faces is an amazing thing to have but it's just not worth your health. I wouldn't want any of you guys to get hurt. Find the settings that you guys are willing to change, but at the same time, keep all the settings that matter to you. Overall, the Apple Watch is here to serve you because you are important, not the watch. Let me know in the comments which battery saving tip is your favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Clockology content in the future. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.